morning everyone uh, again beautiful morning in San Carlos here in uh, the state of Sonora in Mexico and I just thought I'd give you a quick chat about this thing here which is my Watt and C it's a cruising 300 model Watt and C hydro generator so basically um, what this thing is is you can see the propeller in here and then it's got this pivot point right there that holds it and then my custom bracket uh, stainless steel thing here so if you let that thing in the water when the boat is moving the propeller starts spinning and it creates AC power which is then transferred into this wire here that I kept long because I need to be able to set that thing on both sides of the boat depending on which uh, side I'm listing on and when you do that, the, the prop spinning, it transfer power to a control box that I put close to my lithium battery. And the control box will convert that AC power and make it some DC power. So uh, the power curves are available on the website online. I'll include that in the description for you guys. Uh, one thing that I want to point out is if you're going to go that way, if you're going to buy one of them thing, uh, first of all, according to the manual, every time you do 12,000 miles with this in the water, you got to send it back to France where it's built in order to uh, uh, have some maintenance done to it. And they also want you to send it every two years in, in France. Uh, apparently, there's no other service point for this thing, um, which you could uh, you could ask more detail to what NC and see what they're going to say about that uh, but so this thing I bought two years ago so technically I should send it to France and I will eventually send it to France to uh, have it maintained uh, I went that route instead of a windmill because the windmill is useful uh, you know if you're in, in an anchorage this thing like the the hydro generator is useless because you're not moving the boat uh, but the windmill would be useful there the trouble with the windmill is that typically when you do ocean crossings you're gonna want to go downwind and when you go downwind you take a lot of power out of the wind for the windmill because you know your apparent wind is gonna drop so if you're in 15 knots or 10 knots of apparent wind that windmill is eh, you know it's producing but it's not producing a lot where this hydro generator when you do 6.5 or 7 knots you can actually power the whole boat with it like i'll power my autopilot my refrigerations my light my uh, gps system uh, everything that's electrical including my inverter like i'll run my inverter off of that uh will work off of this hydrogen now on this boat, I have a lot of solar panel, also about 750 watts of solar. So during the day, I don't need to use the water, the, the hydro generator. Uh, but I had a little bit because my, my uh, lithium batteries are kind of small. I have 200 amps of lithium battery, which is small for my boat. Uh, so that's why I needed something to carry me through the night on those off offshore passages. And I went that route. Uh, I tried the unit uh, a few times this year. Uh, coming up from Zihuatanejo to uh, to La Cruz and uh, from La Cruz to La Paz. And I was doing slow speeds. I'm talking 4.5 knots, 5 knots. And um, I don't have the right propeller for this application. Like I have, this is a 240 millimeter uh, propeller. They also make a 280 millimeter propeller. And of course, if you're going to go slow, actually for my boat, you should go you know, if you have a boat that does anything less than seven knot average speed, you should be going for the bigger propeller, the 280 millimeter, uh, from my experience. Uh, it, this, as it is right now, still, you know, it doesn't produce a lot of power. I saw about 10 amps, uh, 10 amps coming in, five to 10 amps around there, but it produces it at night when I have no other power generation. And that's enough to flatten my uh, you, you know, to bring me inside my power curve where my 200 amps of lithium battery are going to carry me through the night. Now, I expect that on a long offshore passage where I'll be in the trade winds and where I'll have the bigger uh, propeller, the 280 uh, millimeter propeller, I expect that this will uh, actually be a positive charge on the boat at night and, and during like cloudy days and all that kind of stuff. Like, so this thing potentially can produce uh, like 
300 watts of power. That's why it's a cruising 300. So, uh, and it does that at about seven knots, 7.5 knots. So a boat that would be in the, in the trades, uh, like my Bavaria 40 in the trades would be theoretically able to be powered strictly with this. So I hope this information is useful to you. If you have more questions, just uh, put them in the comments and I'll be happy to help you out.